Hey everyone, welcome to my channel at How Chic. Today I'm going to show you a simple, bright eyed makeup look perfect for wearing glasses. Don't stop looking in my eyes. When you wear your glasses, it's very easy for your eyes to look tired and dull. Here, I give you my tips and tricks to brighten the eyes. Starting off with the base, here I'm using the Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel. This is a UV protector but also acts as a base for your skin. I like this one in particular because it has reflective particles in there which brightens the skin tone. See how this brightens my skin? Then moving on to BB Cushion, I use this to cover any imperfections but also use this to brighten the eye area. Be sure to cover the dark circles, this will help brighten the eye area so that you look fresh and awake. Then, set your BB cream using a marshmallow skin powder. Here I'm using one from Can Make. Apply a bit more to where your glasses sit. This will prevent your makeup from smudging. Moving on to eyeshadow, here I'm using a pink petal eyeshadow quad. This will help brighten the eyes because of the soft colours. Taking the petal pink colour, apply this all over your lids. This will act as the base. Apply the same pink colour onto your lower lash line. Then, taking the pearly white eyeshadow, highlight the brow bone. Bare feet on concrete, so me walk to the singing room. The one that calls out. I'm taking this taupe shade and applying it to the outer V. This will give dimension to the eyes. Bare feet on concrete, trace the lines of a paper man to the places that I've never been. Taking the pearly white shade again and apply this to the center of the lids. Using an eyeliner brush and the dark brown shade, line your eyes and stay as close to the lash line as possible.
Don't forget the lower lash line, but don't go all the way to the inner corner of the eyes. Just stop halfway. Using a brown pencil eyeliner, line your eyes and create a wing at the edge. The reason why we use the eyeshadow as eyeliner first is to create a softer look when you apply the pencil liner on top. Taking the pearly white eyeshadow, apply this on the inner tear duct and along the front of the lower lash line. This will give a doe-eyed effect. Then, taking a shimmery eyeshadow, apply this on top of the pearly eyeshadow. Wherever it goes, I always hear oh, 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 Don't forget the center of your lids. You want to make your eyes pop. Cow your lashes and get them ready for mascara. Then apply your favourite mascara. Here I'm using one from Maybelline and it's called Colossal. Then, taking a gold shimmer, apply this to your inner tear duct. The sparkle in the inner corner of the eyes will definitely lift your eyes up and brighten. When you put your glasses on, your eyebrows can look very faint. I like to redefine the eyebrows using an eyebrow pencil. A well-defined set of brows will not only frame your eyes, but frame your glasses too. Start by tidying your brows. And when using the eyebrow pencil, work in very tiny strokes. See how well a defined brow can frame the glasses.
Using the same taupe eyeshadow, I'm using this to contour my nose and give more dimension into my face. When you wear your glasses, it can flatten your face and you want to build some tone and correction into the dimension of your face. Then blend everything out. Taking the same taupe eyeshadow, contour your cheekbones, the temples and the jawline. Taking a peachy pink blush, apply this to your cheeks. I like to put my glasses on whilst I apply my blush. This prevents me from applying blush into the frame of the glasses, which can darken the eyes. Then highlight the face. I'm using one from Canmake and it's the Glow Fleur Highlighter. Start off by highlighting the nose bridge, the cupid's bow and the chin. See this triangle area below the eyes? You want to brighten this area. Apply the highlight in this triangle motion. Then apply the highlight onto your forehead. See how much my eyes have brightened? Then apply your favourite coral lip colour. We should give it a try. We need to take this love thing slow. Cause there's so many ways this could go. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. This is a perfect everyday makeup tutorial for work or for school. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And if you like this video, comment, like and subscribe to my channel. And I'm sending you all my hugs and my love.